Hi there, I'm Dawn Monroe. If you have been using Microsoft Teams for a while now, it's probably a good time to start stepping things up and taking advantage of many of the tools in here that you might not have known were even available. Here I've got a sample where I've got a, a new channel and I want to start including more things in the channel. Now you'll see I've got posts, uh, I've got a section for files, I've got a notes area where I can uh, get a notebook, a OneNote notebook connected. You can also use that plus sign. You can add all kinds of things that you want. Do you need to add a uh, task and planner um, item over from that program? Do you need to add a Word file or an Excel file? Well, you're not limited to these, friends. You can put a website in there. You can add a form. You can add all kinds of content to those tabs on the top of your team channel. So that's just one way that you could use it. You also, I think a lot of people don't realize that over here in the ellipsis with the channel, there, my picture's right in the way. You can actually um, add something called a connector. And when you click connectors, this is an option to go out and get, uh, you basically connect with all these different software apps that you might ha be using. Like maybe you need to track Google Analytics for your marketing team. Well, what you do is you click this, you configure it and set up your, your password and your unique identifiers, and then this comes right into the feed of your channel. Um, I'm going to scroll down these so you can see. There, they have been adding more and more. Shop around and see what is in here that is a software that you already use and maybe you could get a, a weekly report out of it like uh, do you use constant contact or mailchimp or one of those there are all kinds of programs you can connect i've got a couple set up you can you can add news feeds and things like that let me click on this one i brought one yeah so this one has some mailchimp reports and what you could do is actually get in and see was a campaign sent, what dates was it sent, how many opens, how many clicks. You can get these kind of reports. So isn't this handy for maybe your management team to be able to get this information without logging into the individual accounts? So explore those connectors. Again, what I did was went to the ellipsis and that was connectors. Okay, hope you like that. Microsoft Teams tips.